Hi there, I'm Allie Elliott. Hello, how is everybody? I'm Allie Elliott. Welcome to the stream today. This will be kind of a short one compared to what I normally do, um, but I'm gonna do a little marketing check-in and um, work on some photos that I'm going to use for the marketing check-in. So I'm gonna pull that up. What I'm gonna do is I wanna start working in um, I want to work on bringing in a new genre. I haven't photographed a lot of high school seniors and I would like to move into that direction, not away from anything else, but opening that up. I, I didn't shoot seniors at all really until a couple of years ago and I've really grown to love it. They are, in general, that age is just like becoming who they're gonna be and um, they have all these cool interests, whether it's a whole bunch of different interests or, um, you know, they're really zeroing in on their pathway. It's, it's cool. And it's, there's a lot of storytelling to be had there. And you know, I love a story. So I'm going to, um, pull up some older files and not roll. Um, these are, so I got my senior certification from NAPCP a few years ago. And since I didn't shoot seniors, I just put a thing out to my friends on Facebook. and was like, if you know a senior, bring them in like a 10, 15 minute session. And, um, it was fun. And <laughs> I got my certification and, um, I'm going to use some of those now if I can find the folder and I found it earlier. So let me see what I've got here. Um, and then in what year was it? it wasn't last year so in competition of 21 yeah competition of 21 the grand imaging awards of 22 i was a finalist in the senior category for the grand imaging awards and um i mean it helps when your client is ridiculously stunning and a ballerina <laughs> but um that kind of ignited that as well that I was just really thrilled to ballerinas and ballerinas and I'm not actually photographing these aren't ballerina photographs but I've got some other things that I wanted to there's an older newborn photo that I wanted to retouch just a little and I'm gonna do a head swap on one of these seniors and if I have time I'll dip into this painting a little bit more, um, but we'll see. Um, we'll see if I get there. So I've got a newborn here that I'm gonna work on. And then this is really similar to one that um, I ran through comp spring competitions this year and it wasn't, I never planned for it to go any further, but it kept doing well. So uh, I just kept putting it in there, but I'm gonna do a different, so this is the one that's gonna head swap. This is weird, like, it's like reggae, but with video game. Here we go. All right, anyway. So I have, um, <laughs> I have a an exhibition that I'm preparing for. I've got some, I've got a lot of like, what is, what's the phrase like something in the fire, a lot of irons, irons in the fire. I knew there was a fire. <laughs> um, so I've got this exhibition that's going to be part of a solo exhibition, mixed media, that I want to work on. Um, and I want to try to get as much of that done as I can, knowing that we are going to be entering a very busy season soon. So I want to get, my main focus right now is getting her facial features lined up and making her face 
match making the outline of her face. Why is it doing that? It's so annoying. Um, I just had a Photoshop update and sometimes when I do that, it's a problem. So I'm just gonna nudge it. There we go. There we go, okay, that'll do. And then I'm gonna pop it back up here. So I wanted the more serious expression and I wanted her hands out of it. So I'm going to prepare some marketing materials for high school seniors because I wanna shoot some more of them and um, we're getting past, it's different than it was. <laughs> it's so shocking, I know. Uh, when I was in school because we had to wait, obviously, for developing and stuff. And I think that was a big part of the reason that Um, there we go. I wanted that nice. Do I want to hold on to that? Yeah, let's hold on to that. Okay, and this one was shot a little brighter. like that one curl kind of hanging on but it might give some nice options for texture here all right <clears throat> so we obviously tilted the light just a little bit So, smooth that chin out because she has lost um, the shift in her expression. Has kind of changed. So this will be an easy edit because obviously she's pretty and that makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> I want to just, I need to decide where to put her in the frame. I actually think I might hold on to that wrist. All right, so she's at a tension point right now. Just in case I get a little sloppy. So um, the purpose of this will be for some marketing for the high school demographic. It doesn't have to be a senior. I don't actually know that senior photography is what it used to be because they're inundated with pictures of each other. Um, so this is more of a keepsake for the family. And what I want it to be for my clients is I want it to be um, a, a story. I want it to be a narrative of who these um, students are right now, like what their dreams are, because we all know it's all gonna change. <laughs> As much as we want to plan it, it's all going to change. So I think that recording their hopes and their plans 
and all that good stuff is is cool. It's a cool nostalgic here's what I want right now kind of thing. And that's what I want to sell people on. Um, Cause I don't want to do the boring, you know, like boring portraits. I want it to be a narrative. All right, so I'm gonna duplicate again. That's kind of my MO and I'm just gonna run real basic. Actually, before I do that, Yeah, and I might give her a little more. There we go. And I'm, I just undid all of the work <laughs> that I did. But anyway, that's my thing is like anytime that I can do something that's a storytelling image, that's what I want. And this was an overlooked genre for a long time because I thought I was I thought it was just gonna be, you know, the the teenage reputation, like smart asses. <laughs> and it is sometimes, but um, I've they've they've grown on me as a whole. I actually, I love my own kids being teenagers. I was so afraid of this face because I was terrible. I was, I was not a, a good kid. As far as like, I didn't do anything that bad, but I was just a smart mouth. And um, now that my kids are there, like it's kind of funny. <laughs> so there you go. But they get, humor and they get sarcasm and it's a good time. All right, so here we go. I'm going to, and my um, mouse is acting kind of funny. So now you know that. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to, that seems like a lot. I don't, we don't need that much. Oh, you know what? It's because I haven't sharpened it yet. That's why it didn't, it didn't seem like too much. We don't need like the softening filter of back in the day. All right, so we're just gonna sharpen the details, especially since we're a little bit further out. Um, sharpen the details on there, and then I'm gonna duplicate this and reduce noise. And normally, if I'm just editing a session, I will, um, there we go. If I'm just editing a session, uh, I'll just build a real quick action and just kind of run it through everything that um, that I normally do for like the backdrop or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna bring this down just a little. bump that contrast and I'm gonna warm the whole thing up because that gray backdrop of mine really um, like just sucks the life out of the color and I know this through numbers because I am colorblind all right so this will be a real easy cleanup And actually that is even big. She's beautiful skin. I believe she, this girl is a pageant girl. You can kind of tell. Every time my little, I put this little, um, the little moving gallery thing down there. I'm gonna switch to a stylus. And every time it moves, it catches my eye. So I feel like there's chat or something. And there's not. Where is everybody today? Hello, like that Matt Damon movie where he's recording, it's like on another planet, but he's making videos. You've seen the meme, right? Everybody saw that meme last year where he's like, I'm still alive. 
everybody. <laughs> you there. So I've got until, I've got like an hour left. So I wanna get these few done. Probably not gonna get to painting today. But if I don't paint today, I might jump on here in the morning. I don't know why I have it in my head that like people who would come to a painting stream are like morning people. But also morning people on Eastern Standard <laughs> Time. gonna do now is bring this I'm gonna give a little bit of directional light a little bit of just almost since I brought it down so low I'm going to oops I'm just gonna bring it down again I'm gonna add some color back in warm it up just a touch and then we'll bring this back too much. Duplicate that just so that I can check myself. I don't love the shimmer in that, but maybe it'll grow on me. All right, so I'm just gonna go in and emphasize some of the little highlights. Um, Although, girls, I'm noticing, like, love a shiny, shiny contouring. I guess that's the thing right now. Mm, this might be a little much. So I can always take that back down a little bit. Right now, I just want to do highlights and um, and then I can that's why I duplicated no, that's too much. These blonde highlights really catch I just want the highlights around her face really That is dark. So I can take that down a little bit <clears throat> and find a happy medium. Here we go. Hey, Bear! Glad to have you. How's it going?
So I'm just working on the shimmer on this dress makes it a little difficult to really get the Feel it as soon as I did get the highlights and shadows burnt in there. But what I might go in there is paint because you know I love fabric. I might just get in there and um, paint it out. And then we can play with the color a little bit. This is more of a, this is a much brighter tone than I usually use. Like I said, she was a pa a pageant girl, and this was one of her pageant gowns. Beautiful, but it's just not what I would choose normally. Size. She's got gorgeous cheekbones. Let's make sure she doesn't lose her nose. I see a lot of tragedy in photography where people's noses are just don't they just don't exist anymore. So I want to tuck. You can see that her dress has like a little like almost like a shoulder pad. So I'm just gonna tuck that in a little bit. And my, whenever I have Liquify open, this computer is not cooperative. Just trying to like minimize that dress thickness right there. That should be good enough. All right. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with the color. Now, just to kind of play around with it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna just look at colorizing <laughs> there it's perfect I actually don't hate it <laughs> it's not what I was going for but you do a little sepia a little throwback The top half being so dark and the bottom half being lighter because it's not, it's not actually lighter, it's just that it's reflecting. Um, I don't hate the sepia actually. <laughs> Get my modern photographer card taken away. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna smudge out the reflections. Oh, look at that happening all right I'm gonna fix that first because that will bother me if I don't so as you can see I'm not gonna get done today <laughs> what I thought I would because when I have a few little things to do you know a few little things um, I have a tendency to fi just find stuff that I would, if I were very, very busy in what I was working on, I would just ignore it. I'm not 
actually gonna go just a teeny bit smaller. Oh, well, we'll go to three. That works too. All my hand is a little bit shaky. So I've got an exhibition that I am entering, and it's not a solo show, it's just, um, I'm going to enter three pieces for it. So that's exciting. And then I'm still working on what I hope will be a solo show. That it will be mixed media. And you're going to hear that repeated a whole lot. Probably for a long time because that ends up... I'm very fast in my photography work and um, not so much in my other work. I'm not slow, I'm just easily distracted. <laughs> And then I've got a book deadline too. So I've got a lot of different things going on and I just hope that they all pay off, you know? <laughs> this time is precious. And tonight I have to go coach some little one soccer my middle son had between two clubs and then goalie training seven hours of soccer practice yesterday <laughs> so you can see my sweet tan I evened it up a little mowing the grass but I try to I'm obviously very pale and I try to only be in the Sun I've always tried my adult life to only be in the sun, you know, like when the sun's not the highest. And I have not been very successful <laughs> in recent years. All right, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna smear, smudge, I guess, technically. But because there are highlights and shadows, it's going to be a little more difficult than usual. So I've got the strength higher than I normally would. I'm going to try to steer clear of the edges. And then when I come to the edges, I can get a little more precise. But right now I'm just going to go ham. And I'm going to continue in the direction of the gown. Because like these little shadows, those can end up being pleats. Look, I say that and then I change directions almost immediately. <laughs> If there were a tool in Photoshop that I were guilty of abusing, it is the smudge tool. And I'm not sorry. I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> so this is gonna be intense too. Just gonna run the edge just a little bit. It'll essentially be painted once it's all said and done because all these little highlights that are lurking in the um, in the sparkles have to be kind of smudged out. And I have like I have no control over my grip. It's just like it's 100% at all times. I've got no chill gripping the stylus. So it'll get there, it'll get there. Oh, hey, hello, hello. Shutter Fragment, how's it going? I'm just gonna steer clear of these edges for right now.
Glad to have you. What's good? Everybody out in Twitch this fine Wednesday. I had to think for a minute. <laughs> I had to think what day it was. Off the edges. I gotta get rid of the highlights, the little sparkles, blend those in a little bit so that they aren't gonna take away from. Oh, very good. Well, I'm glad to have you. Are you a photographer, I guess? Tell me. You're the only one here right now, so as far as I'm concerned, you share your life story. Are you a streamer? And a little shout out. Share your links. Share your Instagram. I'll share my Instagram too. I just do that periodically. And I have my stream deck right here, but I haven't <laughs> set it up. It sat in a box for a year. And, um,. You know what? I'm just going to get a link. Sat on a box for a year. Now it's sitting out. So that is step one. There it is. Ah, very good. I like a dabbler. It's all right. It's a good time. What are you, what's your genre? I'll tell you while you're typing, I'll tell you that I, so I have a little studio on the town square. I've been a portrait photographer for 16 years as of next month. And um, I'm an exhibiting artist as well. And soon to be author, but that is very, I'm very, 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 very new at that. Ah, very good. I've been streaming kind of regularly <laughs> for a year. Fall gets intense, so I'm not real um, consistent. I, um, I exhibit and I'm obsessed with competition, with photo competition, so that comes up a lot. We're kind of in between right now. I had the spring season and um, now we're getting ready to head my big one they changed up this year so it, I'm kind of in a lull but um, oh automotive very good the only time I do automotive is for seniors actually <laughs> if we have any car enthusiasts then it's a whole different beast So I'm just working on um, changing up this gown enough that the, the dress itself was reading as so much lighter than the bodice of the gown. So I'm just gonna switch it up a little bit, give it a painterly feel, and I might change the um, color of it as well. First wedding as a second shooter. Congratulations. I quit shooting weddings in 2015 and I do not miss it. <laughs> I I always feel bad because I don't want anybody that like whose wedding I photographed to, to hear that and be like, oh, okay, you don't want to be, because I loved being a part of somebody's wedding, but I'm not an event photographer. I want to control, I'm a control freak. <laughs> I want to control the light. I want to control the posing to a certain extent. I don't do hugely posed. I like to set people up and then let them chill a little bit. Are you nervous? Are you excited? 
What's your vibe check on your first wedding? It is hot or cold with weddings for sure. And every once in a while, I'll see a wedding like, okay, like, but really I don't want to shoot the wedding. I want to shoot the portraits, like the, the bridals or the, Like it's so special and the, you know, everybody's dolled up and so I'd shoot engagements, I'd shoot bridles. It's pretty rare that anybody would want a bridal that's outside of their normal photographer. <laughs> it's not, it's not happening very much. Maybe like a destination wedding type scenario. I'd be on board with that, but you should probably just use your, unless you have somebody, I don't know, maybe um, excited for sure. Yes. Learning flash. Okay. No, it's not too bad. Light is light. My very first wedding that I ever shot, I was like new and it had black walls. It was like a kind of a mega church scenario. Oh, good, 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 good. 11.85. I'm a zoom lens girl myself. I like options. Feels like this song has been going on for quite a while. My hand is gonna be sore from <laughs> aggressively smearing this down. <laughs> there you go, there you go. So my, I, I did like, for my first wedding, I did the meeting there, like the week of, cause it was not, it was in my hometown. It was away from where I live. And um, I was so in over my head. I mean, the pictures turned out fine. I just, was unprepared for the because there was it was a really high ceiling and it was all black and they were getting married up on a stage i try really hard not to you know be in it like i want to be an observer <laughs> so some long lenses had to come out that day and it went okay i didn't know enough yet to be like hmm this could go sideways <laughs> and I never had a bad wedding you know a lot of people will have like a bad experience and just be like that's it I'm not doing anymore I just had a lot of young children I have six kids and at the time they were small and that's a tough schedule wedding is a long day Oh, yes. I have like the 200 extended all the time. <laughs> Which is funny because a lot of what I shoot is very environmental. I like to include a lot, especially right now. It's so beautiful out. I like all the weather, but I, some weather I feel bad dragging clients around in. So I'm just gonna soften, this part's velvet. I'm just gonna soften it a little bit. But I think what I will do is pull some highlights in there. Whoops. So I've got my competition stuff ready for July. And it, they all, all that I have done now ran through some smaller competitions and did really well. So we'll see what Yeah, yeah, seven, I would even say seven might be kind of the um, minimum. 
<clears throat> All right. So let's do. Um, let's just work on changing up the color here. Let's see what we want. I want something that's going to even out how dark. I'm gonna go in there and burn some of the... Um, I think what I'll do actually Let's do this bright blue and I'm going to erase back on her so that we can see how it's gonna work with her skin tones and her <laughs> I I grew up with Photoshop. Photoshop and I have grown up together. Before there were even numbers, it was just Photoshop. And then you got two and three and... <laughs> the funny thing about that is though, that I never really learned the new stuff. When I get the new one, I would just keep doing what I always knew <laughs> how to do. So once in, a, once in a while, I'll find something that... It sure has enabled me to have fun with compositing and stuff like that. I actually did my first composite, though, in, um, in the dark room. Just to show you... These are some of the composites that I built on screen. This is Alone for the Holidays. This is Audacity of the Sun. Um, that's going into competitions this year. This is break, this is, it says it's broken and stitch, but it's actually break and stitch. Um, it did well last year. This is a, this whole thing is a, is an exhibition that I am preparing. It's a print exhibition. This is holding Keeley's Candles, Helm of the Unknown Soldier. This is Roger. This is Numbered Days. He's got a cool story. I don't remember what this is titled, actually. It, it was based off of the Smooth Seas Never Made a Skilled Sailor. And, um, thank you. But that was too long of a title. <laughs> so it's based on like childhood anxiety, that kind of thing. Uh, but I do not remember what I titled it. This is I'll Fly Away. She picked up some accolades. This is one out of my Here I series, which is Bereaved Siblings. And um, this is just one of a few. There were 20 um, from the Here I series. And this is one of them that's gonna be part of a separate exhibition. This is Conversations with Our Ancestors. And this, I used photographs from the last 150 years of my family and merged them into photographs with my children on um, the porch of a family home that doesn't exist anymore. So those are old pictures too. Um, but this is one of my favorite pieces that I've ever done. And um, I don't know, these are all kind of just, this was all on stream. It's kind of cool. I've just been streaming for the past year, but it's cool to be able to go back and really see the creation of what I worked on and see how far it's come, even though, cause sometimes you kind of go, <laughs> what, how did I just spend the last <laughs> several hours? The conversations with our ancestors image was by far my longest. It's actually the only one to go through competition the first time and bomb completely. And I kept working on it. <laughs> Usually when they bomb, I'm like, I light them on fire emotionally and then just never look at them again. But that one, 
I got enough encouragement from colleagues to keep after it. And it came a long way from my first entry. And I really like it now. It's one that, um, it's so hard when you're working on an image for a long time to walk away and be done with it. You're like constantly in editing mode. And that one was nominated for a Grand Imaging Award uh, through the International Photographic Competition, which is Professional Photographers of America. And I was walking across the stage for my nomination and they put it up on the big screen. And that's a moment that you think you're gonna like, soak in and be so proud and the first thing I thought of when I looked up there was I should have flipped it <laughs> the opening on the right so now I think of that every time I look at it I should have flipped it but I still love it <laughs> yeah just keep being like not just stopping to enjoy it I think that's her skin under there yeah it is Might be a little touch of that purple in there. I can't see it. <laughs> Man, I've got to watch my time. This is, it's a lot more fun to stream when like I can just relax and not worry about what time I need to get off. All those little soccer players will be unruly. <laughs> So I've got some sessions coming up this weekend. I'll be editing full sessions, or not this weekend, but later this week. Okay. I don't use blue a lot. I have I tend to lean towards um, uh, warm colors so I'll probably change this <laughs> I was gonna be like I'm gonna try something new but realistically nah this little we'll give her a little blue highlights it's very in right now yes absolutely cool to post I'll share if it's good with you Check it out. Ooh, very nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Where are you? Where are you at? Geographically. I like it. Good colors, nice and crisp. What lens you got here? Very nice work. Did you share a link earlier? No, I shared a link. <laughs> California, beautiful. I'm in Indiana. And I always talk about like, we, we pride ourselves. We can make it look like almost anything here. We can look like the beach, we can look like the mountains. But then I go to the real beach or I go to the real mountains and I'm like, oh, I should stop saying that. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't shoot a lot of shorter lenses, but I like the look. I just, since I'm portraiture, <laughs> people would stop, stop coming. I can't tell if her hair is thick enough that there's no color coming through, but I'm gonna be a little extra cautious. We got a synthesizer. Yes, you know, I've heard, I don't have any of them, but I have heard many great things about the Sigma art line. I 
went to imaging so ready to spend money. I'm very, very, very much a creature of habit. I've used the same camera bodies, like my main and my backup, exact same camera body for 12 years. <laughs> and every year I'm like, I, maybe I'll get a new lens this year. Maybe this is, maybe this is when I mix it up or like a new camera body or, but every, I don't, I should stop saying that, but I really, I believe it. <laughs> All right, so it's like Beauty and the, or not Beauty and the Beast, it's like Sleeping Beauty. And they're fighting, changing the dress color. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is duplicate this layer and I'm going to darken the skirt. right above so I want to even that up a little bit okay I gotta go back to folk music I can't I'm a creature of habit like I said but I'm also with my music <laughs> Yes, still on. I'm I'm a lone holdout, but it's not really because I'm opinionated or anything. It's just because I'm very much a creature of habit. I I go to tra like I keep going to imaging. The last two years, like ready, ready for somebody to sell me on mirrorless, on a lens, like whatever. Sell me on something. Take my money, and nobody's done it. Do you hear that, camera companies? <laughs> Sell me. I'm asking for it. But one of these days. Okay, I can't even see there, so. All right, merge those. And I'm gonna pop an extra one on there and just hide it. I have Nikon right now, whoops. I'm a Nikon girl for a while. Sony has my attention. I had a Canon years ago, but not like a professional camera. It was just like a point and shoot. No, it wasn't a point. It was like a, I mean, like it wasn't anything that I used for business. It was just a, taking pictures of my kids thing. But I love Nikon, very loyal. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got the dress kind of tempered the way I want it to, let's, I'm gonna look at adjusting the color because I don't like how dark it is. I want kind of a mid-tone. color is that? I have no idea. Seems... What is that? I oh, know it's like a pink. I thought it was gray. <laughs> Maybe I could go with the sepia now. Yes. Oh, really? Okay, that's interesting because that would be a big difference for somebody like me who can't see... the colors. Do I want, I think I do, I think I do, oh wait. I just can't ever let it be cool, I need it warm. There we go, it's perfect. <laughs> Very indecisive because I didn't really have a plan <laughs> going in here. T 
teal. Yes, right? You like the teal? Where is it? Oh, tell me when to stop. <laughs> like, no whammies. This is group think. I have to lighten it so that I can see. Is that teal? Yeah, okay. I'm on board with that. But I do want to bump this contrast. And then I'm gonna clean up this. I said that I was gonna do this a long time ago and I didn't. There we go. Okay, a little dark, yes, absolutely. I've gotta keep it lighter right now so I can see it. <laughs> Getting rid of these little shimmers is proven to be kind of an issue. Oh, look, I ran over her hand there. I'll fix that. A little blown red channel, fix that too. <laughs> fix it all. Oh, no, I didn't. That's the shadow I did right there, though. There we go. go okay so whoops hey it's a whole party welcome to the party yay <laughs> Yay, thank you so much. Welcome, guys. How are you? How was the stream? Yes, do it. <laughs> Bear is back. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you so much. And thank you to the new followers. Yay. I'm not going to try to pronounce your names because I get stupid when I try to pronounce <laughs> when I try to pronounce names. I don't know what happens to me. So, oh, you, so you're, you've done this a time or two is what you're saying. <laughs> Well, we are here um, working on, I just, I'm changing her dress like um, Sleeping Beauty, basically. Uh, but I'm working on some senior stuff. And, um, oh, okay. Cyronius and Lidge. You're very good with explaining the pronunciations. I just abandon words completely. I'll, if uh, maybe a nickname, <laughs> could do a nickname. So what's everybody up to today? Are we all photographers? It is Allie like Allie. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh did I say it wrong do I have a, I, it's probably a gross accent that I have well see now I'm just going to abandon it <laughs> yes oh <laughs> fair enough Okay, so I'm going back to smudge. So I'll, I'll show you what we started with here. Where is it? There. That's what we started with. And actually, when I started this stream, she had a different face. So we've gone through some changes. I don't even have the original face on here. That's, that's beside the point. Oh, yeah, I've got to clean that up for sure. 
Um, so right now, actually, I think what I'll do is, I love me some layers. So what were you guys up to today via stream? Just working. I like it. I'm here for it. <laughs> I have been... I feel like, um, ah, yes, that's good. Where are you at? What part of the world are you in? I love a photo walk. in Texas yes nighttime you know that is that is beautiful hey thank you thank you for the follow um so my husband and I got married at 10 30 at night was our wedding ceremony in downtown Indianapolis and we didn't do outside pictures and that has always Hi, that has always bugged me. That was a missed opportunity. I don't think I'd wanna do a photo walk at night around here though, it'd be creepy. <laughs> I'll do a night photo walk somewhere else. <laughs> so much I am I'm focusing mainly on client work right now we're kind of in the middle of like in the in-between of competition season the spring competitions are done but it's not quite crunch time yet on the big ones ah uh, yes ads <laughs> I don't have I probably don't have them set up right if I'm being honest that's probably user error that's that's on me <laughs> so what's everybody shoot what's your genre of choice what yeah we've got we've got a whole color situation here <laughs> in case you haven't heard me whine about it I'm colorblind and so changing color like this is kind of a big deal <laughs> because I can't see Things like this where I screw up. So I've got a senior boy to photograph on Friday. I think I'm going to take this down too because it's just... Wedding commercial food action portrait and events. I need to know more about action portrait. The girl in the red dress is super Pragers. That could literally be like 99% of the images in my um, portfolio. I love, I love red. That being said, literally any of them. <laughs> Here we go. All right, I'm gonna 
take this down. Oh, yes. Yes. You know what's funny about that? So she was, I think she had twins. Um, did you win a competition again? Not yet. <laughs> Stay tuned. Do you, do you see my shameless trophies back there? Oh, no, you can't actually. My cat came and like bumped everything. Um, that girl was so tiny. She was so tiny and I'm pretty sure she was carrying twins. That's an old one, but yeah, she was, <laughs> she was, um, showing. That's for sure. Aw, reunion. Portraits of dancers. I do too. Can I share? I'm going to share some. <laughs> I love a dancer. It gives me a little break. So there's my little, this is my daughter actually. But, um, I now have to find it because I came, I was a finalist in a GIA, the Grand Imaging Awards senior category for, wait till you see this girl and you'll, like, she made my job insanely easy. And, um, she, she won it actually. I didn't have to really do anything. Let's see. When was that though? I feel like maybe that was 21. And it went through a lot of, did I edit that on stream? I don't think I was on stream yet. 21, there they are. There's my dancer. You can see that I love some fabric. I love a fabric throw. but she's stunning. And I actually have some more of her to edit. Um, I, <laughs> since like, I'm trying to give this another day to dry and um, my husband really wants me to get those glasses and I am hesitant about them because I made a big enough a deal about my <laughs> being colorblind that I feel like it's kind of like cool, <laughs> but I feel like I won't believe it. I feel like I will be like, that's not what everybody else sees, please. <laughs> you don't know me, but it would be interesting just to try them. Like I wouldn't wear them all the time, but just, just kind of a novelty just to try it. But they are very expensive for a novelty. You tried what? Wait, what? What were we talking about? I have both. I tried all of them. Oh, are we talking about the glasses? I like this being a little dark. Oh, yeah, they don't. Oh, really? So, okay. So I saw the reels and stuff when they first came out. I'm like, oh, like grandpa can see colors. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so hesitant about that. I don't like having a, I don't know. Oh, prescription ones. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. I don't have contacts or glasses or anything yet. <laughs> that's probably it. When do most people get them? I'm the only one in my family that doesn't, besides my children. But like my sister's got them when, it's over hype, you have a chat about it over voice. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think it would just be like, I would try it, but I'm not like, um, I'm not like too, it's overhyped, but it's not. I'm getting mixed signals. <laughs> okay, fair, fair. All right, speed of color. Now I'm self-conscious. 
<laughs> you guys know my secret. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm just gonna warm this up a teeny bit. There we go, okay, so we went from, I'll show you where I started because I have to go coach many children. <laughs> All right, this was the original. So um, she obviously had a face swap uh, and I haven't touched those yet. And then here's the final. And um, I'm not really done because I want to take this down. But now, of course, because I have 15 people on there <laughs> when I have to leave, that always happens. But I'm so grateful. Let me see if, um, well, I'm, I'm going to smudge this out real quick. And I'm, let's raid somebody. We'll make their day. <laughs> I love a raid. I'm so grateful for everybody stopping in today, even if I'm not doing anything that exciting, but stay on here. Um, I think I do have Discord because uh, I do low bases, creative community thing. Great shots, new to the channel, thank you. Okay, I can tell you exactly what gear I use because I've used the same gear for 12 years. Mama doesn't change very often. Um, I'm a Nikon D, 300s <laughs> and um a tamron 2470 zoom 99 percent of what you see anywhere that i photographed was shot with those two things um and i love and every year i'm like this is the year i'll probably buy a new camera this year maybe a new lens i don't know and then i don't i've been saying that for at least five years probably more but um, they're doing the job. I got my master's. I got my master's, my master artist degree, my craftsman degree, all with those. But uh, it might be time, it might be time. Next trade show, somebody sell me on it. It wouldn't even be that hard of a sell, but I feel like they're not trying. All right, let's find a raid. Let's find a fun raid here. <laughs> ah yes I don't know about cannons I just know depending on what you shoot I guess that makes a big difference too I keep wanting to get a nice wide angle for traveling like a you know just traveling out west with a big open sky and Yep, I love light. I carry my light with me because it's a huge game changer. Like, and even my lights are like I have old alien bees and an ice light. <laughs> Everything's duct taped together. <laughs> Does the job, that's all you need. And I have nobody. There's nobody online right now. Okay, so help me. Does anybody have any suggestions for streamers to um raid because nobody that i follow and i follow a lot of people so the fact that nobody is live right now is uh, a little crazy so you guys come back and hang out with me again um so right now i'm working on this is going to be part of a mixed media photography painting oil painting, watercolor, intaglio print press. Did I say four things? I feel like I forgot something. Um, mixed media for those four things with this and the photos from it. I also have <laughs> uh, exhibition coming up, gallery exhibition and competition. So I've got a lot of things. Oh, Adobe. Will they sponsor me <laughs> if I raid them? It's worth a shot. Oh, 
we're on a all right I'm gonna do, let's do it oh okay but first I have to answer this the ultimate best picture okay well I can't pick just one <laughs> as you can imagine I can't pick just one but um this is definitely one of them and it's a composite these are six generations of my family years spanning 120 or photos spanning 120 years in a family home that no longer exists to us and then my children are merged in there with the people that they're named after so this one was huge for my family it was also a grand imaging award finalist in the master artist category and that's one of my most favorites now har uh, real close in there is my here I th um, exhibition that this was 20 families with bereaved siblings and I built you can see her down here these are my children and I built the missing siblings out of the living children so those were all and I tucked all kinds of little Easter eggs and special things to the family and to the children into those images and it debuted in 2020 but it remains I, I can't imagine an exhibition will ever come close to the emotion wrapped into that one so those are my favorites those are digital art they're not doesn't really come down to the photography um but i would say this would be one of them i love a ballerina that's my daughter so that helps and this one break and stitch the other one that i just showed you was all fly away this is break and stitch that's my son and then this was my first um this was my first master artist merit and it was a lone image and the story behind this the titles numbered days and the story behind roger in there um is the best so uh thank you yes i love a story i love a story and every single pixel is so important and um and I love it. But if, if we're talking just straight up, just photography, um, actually the one that, I don't even think you can see it back there, but this might be the, my favorite photography. This was a client image, um, a senior. Oh, thank you, I'll hit you back. I appreciate it, I'm trying to grow the Insta. Um, oh, thank you. His name was Roger and um, the, the idea behind that image was that everybody wants to grow old, but then when you grow old, you're doing it alone because every, everybody else died. Um, so I'm kind of depressing. <laughs> I recognize that. People are usually surprised when they meet me and I'm very like, bah. <laughs> they're like, well, I've expected more emo coming from you. Um, but sadly, he was an incredible model and he passed before the image went on to do really well in exhibition and competition and it has traveled the world for him in his absence um but he was a great guy and i keep in touch with his daughter still and they love seeing where roger's been traveling <laughs> he, he, took, he took up his modeling career late in life but um, he was an absolute joy to meet and i love telling his story too so anyway <laughs> There they are. Those are the, uh, those are my favorites. Oh, thank you. Thank you. How? Yes. <laughs> no ho photographers. <laughs> um, thank you. I appreciate that. It's, it's something I kept in my chest for a long time and like didn't tell anybody because <laughs> this chat just took a turn guys. <laughs> Um, I always kept it close to my chest because I was self-conscious that, you know, my first entries in a competition were always black and white because I didn't trust myself. And, um, but I do now for the most part. Every once in a while, they'll put some outfit together and my husband will be like, that's not, that's not close. <laughs> what's wrong with you? But he knows what's wrong with me. So it works. <laughs> All right, let's try a raid here. Let me see if I can remember. 
And I am so grateful. I just can't, I can't tell you guys how grateful I am for you to come hang out today. And I really appreciate it. Is it going to let me do this though, is what I need to know. Is it a forward slash? And I'm gonna turn this music up too so I can hear them. Okay. Personal debt, yes. Yeah, it's, it's in, I think everybody has their thing that they're like, <laughs> it's okay. That's what makes us all a little different. All right, let's try this raid. Let me see if it's gonna work. In the meantime, I might be back in the morning if this puppy dries enough. And, um, but I will definitely be on Instagram, on YouTube. Uh, those are the biggies. Um, yes, that sounds good. I will go check that out. Right now I've gotta to get to the soccer field or we're gonna have some unruly 12 year olds. <laughs> we, we don't want them to riot. And I'm gonna see if this raid work. Oh, it did work. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. You absolutely made my day. Have a beautiful evening and I will see you tomorrow or Friday at the latest. Bye. That's why you my mommy. <laughs> Ha, 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 